Hello and welcome to Beardicus Plays. My name is Beardicus, and today I am playing Super Mario RPG. A um, couple of things I wanted to say. Between episodes, I went back uh, to the Midas River course, got a couple extra frog coins to get the EXP booster here. So Princess Peach, or Toadstool, or whatever you want to call her, um, the pink dress lady here is going to be leveling up a bit faster now so hopefully she won't be dying as often as she was as she has been also I looked up some stuff about uh, the items over here and the safety ring super useful so once Peach is done with the XP booster uh, she'll be using the safety ring it basically makes her immortal well I, I mean, it doesn't affect her defense that much, I guess. Because it's... It only gives her five extra... Oh, actually, that was the wrong... Yeah, it gives her five extra defense and magic defense. But, uh, it... Basically, I think it makes you immune to all magic. And especially one-hit KOs. And that's the kind of thing that it'd be pretty cool if the game, you know, told me that. But, whatever. Um, oh, another thing. There was a secret path that I completely forgot about in Booster Pass. I went back there. I checked it out. There wasn't much there. It was just a couple of coins and stuff. But, uh, just so people know. It's like, uh, over here. I think, I think I did it anyway. So go over here. I know I checked it out, and there wasn't much there, but... And then this guy... And then you just kinda hit him, and he's dead. What? Ah, uh, Princess Peach, you're so weak! Okay. It, 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 I, I, I really shouldn't have... I shouldn't have bothered coming over here because I, I'm almost positive I already did and really the only thing worth getting was a frog coin anyway. Yeah, see, I already did it. Uh, the only thing worth getting was a frog coin, I think. I don't actually remember what else was over there, though. Um, you know, maybe there might have been... It was probably a flower, an item, and a frog coin. And then the item may have been the Caro Caro Cola? I don't know. But, well, hey, save point. Let's, let's do that. Saving is good. Okay. So I think I need to use the cannons and do that. Or is it? How do you do this? Okay, I remember now. I I knew you had to hit the button during one of the transitions. I thought it was when it was going uh, up, but it's not. It's when it's going down. What is happening now? And she's poisoned. 98 health, wow. Shogun. Shogun. Like a... Like a... Uh, like a gun that's only for show. I think that's what it means, right? Um, the drain beam... This is exciting stuff, huh? Princess Peach might be about to die. I'm not, I don't know. She had 70 health-ish? Yeah, she could use. Let's, let's get a group hug going. Come on, everybody, bring it in. Um, let's see. So, if I remember correctly, there should be a seed that I'm gonna get soon. 
Hey, Mario's reached the half halfway to his max level. I mean, not experience. Not in terms of how much experience he has, but in terms of just, you know, the number. I think I missed... Um, so I think the reason when I first got her, Princess Peach was doing, like, scratch damage to all the enemies, I think the reason is because I missed the frying pan. Because she can, she gets a frying pan in this game, but it's not, but you don't buy it in a store. You have to find it somewhere or you have to do something for someone. I think it was the treasure toad in, uh, Molehillville, Moleville. I think he, if you trade him enough coins, he gives you the frying pan and then Peach isn't as useless. Uh, when you first get her. Did I just do 200 damage? This guy's got a lot of health. And then Peach isn't useless when you first get her. No offense, Peach, but, I mean, come on. You know it's true. How do I get up there? Is that a treasure box? It is. I gotta, I gotta try. Whoa. Okay. I assume I have to time this perfectly, which is why enemies come out of that hole when you first go in, because if you don't time it perfectly, it's like, either you time it perfectly and you make it up, or you time it almost perfectly and you gotta fight some enemies. This is going to, uh... This is probably never gonna work. I don't think I'm gonna make it up there, ever. I, I literally, I think it is literally outside of my skill range. I don't, th or maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. That's very, very possible. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm doing it right. So there's some geckos that apparently get launched out of cannons at me. I'll fight one. Uh, I don't want to take too much time fighting enemies here, but uh, I also don't want to skip all these enemies. So I think this might, now I've said this a couple of times, but I think that, oh my goodness, that was a strong attack. Probably would have been less strong of Peach if I had successfully dodged it, but, or, sorry, blocked it. But anyway, so this is something that I've, uh, mentioned occasionally. That, uh, confused monster, oh no! Why did I need to be cautioned about that? That doesn't seem like something that I would need to worry about. Oh, they want to kill Peach. Don't, don't let him... Don't give him the satisfaction of dying, Peach. Trust me. I have come back? Nice. That's the one that I wanted. Oh, is that 150 something? Nice. Nice! Anyway, so I've I've said this a couple of times that this playthrough. The most recent time being probably several times during the uh pirate ship area, but uh, I am actually going to cut out most of this screen because I want to fight all of these enemies, but I also don't want to have this episode go on forever because I don't, I don't want a full episode of me just fighting enemies right here, but I don't want to skip any of these enemies because there are a lot of enemies in here. Mario, wake up. There are a lot of enemies in here, and that's some good experience, and I want that experience. So, I'll just keep talking to myself, but with the knowledge that I'm probably going to cut out most of this screen. Not a confused monster! That's... I still don't understand. I don't... I just... 
I just don't understand why it warns me about that. It's like, caution, this monster might not attack you. It's like, I, I shouldn't, I, I'm, I don't have to be worried about a confused monster because worst case scenario, he attacks me. But he's not gonna attack me because he's confused, he's gonna attack me because he's a monster. It, like, I, I would understand it if it was just, if the message just said confused monster. Did Princess Peach just do more damage than Mario? Wow. Princess, I'm impressed. Uh, what was I saying? I, I would understand if it just said confused monster. But it doesn't. It says caution, confused monster, and that just makes me confused. Oh my god. What if I'm the confused monster? Oh, but I'm not a monster. Oh, never mind. I think Bowser is... Bowser should be the next one to level up, is what I was saying. Yay, okay. So there we go. See, that wasn't so bad. And now, we get another save. I'm still only level 15. Even though I'm, I am actually pretty close to the end of the game. Ah, oh, Bowser, what are you getting poisoned for? Ah, oh, Bowser, this is gonna cost 13 HP this turn. Ugh. You always do this. You always take so much damage. For stupid reasons. Oh, look at me, I'm Bowser, I'm just gonna... Uh-oh. No, Mario! Oh, okay, never mind. No, Peach! Well, I guess, uh... Oh, I didn't know that would reverse Scarecrow, too. I was just trying to, uh, fix Bowser's poison. I thought Scarecrow... Oh, I guess it makes sense. So do you just... Do... You know, here's... I'm actually not sure of this. Do mushrooms heal poison and other status effects? Yeah, I knew Bowser was about to level up. Crusher. Okay, well, I think the choice is obvious here. One HP difference. It's always, uh... Fungus spike. Not the fungus spike. What? So, another question. Um, I, I mean, I'm not sure, but I assume the attack fungus spike turns you into a mushroom. Uh, my question is, why does a wasp have the power to turn people into mushrooms? This is, of course, ignoring the fact that, uh, People being able to turn into mushrooms in the first place is kind of weird, but although arguably the scarecrow transformation is arguably weirder, although I guess it depends on how they're transformed. If they're actually like a like cloth sack full of hay. Like an actual scarecrow, yeah, that'd be really weird. But if they're just like, if they're just like tied to a pole, then never mind. That makes sense. That's that probably wouldn't actually be all that hard to do to somebody. Uh, but the, the uh, anyway, the point is, I don't think wasps actually have the power to turn people into mushrooms. That was the point I was making. Uh, in retrospect, probably not a point I really have to make. I'm, a lot of people are probably aware of that, but that, you know, wasps 
can't actually turn people into mushrooms. And the petunias, I think that's what those flowers are called. Correct me if I'm wrong. Text. Edit, edit text. But, uh, I think those things are called petunias. Shoot. Uh, anyway, the point is, wasps cannot turn people into mushrooms, and petunias cannot turn people into scarecrows. Is that poison? Thorn it. All I know is it was very weak. Yay! Just, just, see, I caught myself that time because I've been saying nice so much in this episode. I was, I went, yay! I didn't want to say nice again. And in not saying nice, I ended up saying it three times instead of only the shoot. I, I don't know why I'm having such trouble with this. I, it's not hard. It, you just wait and jump. Just wait and jump. Oh, okay, cool. So that's not even... Wait. Ah, just now I'm going early. Hey, going early in a case like this is better than going late. Ah, oh, son of a gun. I got it this time, don't worry. Oh, was I supposed to go this way? I thought there was going to be a secret up here. Um, when people are turned into mushrooms in this, uh, can they do anything? I know they heal. I know they can heal every turn, but I don't think they can do anything else. So, Princess Peach is just a mushroom. Oh, and Bowser. Bowser is also a mushroom. And I guess that they can kind of dodge. But hey, I mean, Peach got a full heal, so... Shoot! Hey, Peach and Bowser got full heals, so it's fine. Although, I did lose a lot of experience because of my ineptitude, but whatever. Sky Bridge, it's a big tourist attraction here. Yahoo! Wanna challenge it? No. Ah, you chicken. Now, I assume if I go down here... Looks like there's something... Uh, looks like there's a secret there. Uh, I think if I go down here... There should be a, an exit. What the? If I go through here? Yeah, okay. I just wanted to make sure that that's what was going on. I need five coins. Need an explanation? No, it's pretty self explanatory. Which course do you want? I'll just go normal. You probably unlock things, I'm sure, but. Ah! Oh. Ah! That count is losing twice. Oh, ah, shoot. And one of three ways, however, if you. Wait, you can cross it in one of three. Oh, I guess that means normal, special, and whatever. If you fall, you lose. A normal course, you'll make it across just by jumping. You'll get five coins. Special course, the blocks will fall if your time runs out. You'll get eight coins. An expert, the blocks will fall and the jumps are harder. You'll get a frog coin there. On all of the courses, you'll have the jump and avoid the bullet, guys. Which course do you want? Uh, expert's the only one that seems to be like... Yeah, I did it! Do I even need to do this? Because I don't care. Can I just go? I think I can just go. I just won't win anything. Wait, do you... Wait, are you locked on the platforms? Oh, I see. I wonder if that applies even during the... Thanks. I'll try it one more time here. I just want to... 
see something. Oh, you see, you're not, I'm not locked on them during the course. Ah, didn't count. Oh man, I am doing very poorly with this whole thing here. Ah, what? No! Oh. I thought I had to uh, go from above to get down here. Uh, for the record, I don't know what's down here. I don't know if I've ever gone in here before. I just... I... I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Ah, jeez. Whoa, jeez and crackers. Oh. Thank you, Cortana. Don't know, I guess we'll find out. Uh... Jeez, Cortana. Give me a freaking heart attack. I don't know, I don't know if the, uh... uh I don't know if the recording caught that, but Cortana just told me that she pulled up some videos for me. About what? I don't know. But it looks like she searched. Don't know, I guess we'll find out. But, uh, yeah. Uh, hey, Cortana. Oh, sorry, editor. Also, I wasn't looking at the screen, and I just realized that Mario got attacked, but I think, I think he missed. Hey, look at that. Princess Peach is officially the highest level character now. Wow, 9 HP. I, I guess so. Ugh. What? How do I? Oh, cool. So, I don't know if this path is just a complete waste of time or what, but... Which, uh, I guess... I guess you already knew that because I've said I've already mentioned how I don't know uh, what's in this path hey attack up yeah mega drain this little uh, oh I thought that was I thought that attack hit everybody it looks like it looks like it should, right? Alright, is, is Mario immune to sleep or just transformations? Doesn't matter. I don't care. I think he's got the true form pin, so he can be put to sleep, but whatever. Oh, well, let's find out. No, he is immune to sleep. Mario is just awesome, I guess. Uh, there's not much going on here, so... Uh... Give him power. Can I just jump over these guys? Because these fights take longer than they're worth. Where's this asparagus guy's name, anyway? The Criffid. I hate him. Ugh. How, f how long is this path going to be? Uh, okay. It looks like I'm about at the end. Where? There's a red frog guy. I didn't even know there were red frog guys in this game. Oh, Princess Peach has been muted. It's not good because she's the healer. In case you, uh... Her, her entire role in this game is to heal people with magic. 
sorry. I just... Just the absurdity of Bowser's attack just hit me again. I am throwing Mario at the enemy. It's, I love it. It's the best attack. So what is the point of this? To get back up here? I guess. Okay, fine. We'll fight this guy too. I'm gonna be cutting out... What? What is it saying about Pokemon? Okay, so the, the Cortana search is still on my screen, by the way. So, I'd like to reiterate. Cortana searched for... Don't know, I guess we'll find out. And one of the search results was a Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Let's Play. Episode 67, I can't see by whom. Can't see who made it, but uh, I don't know why. I don't get it. Uh, wow. Uh, for the record, I was looking at the Cortana search again, so I I couldn't. I wasn't looking at the screen to time that attack, and I still got the correct timing. Oh, hey, I know where I am. Oh, no, I... Oh. Uh, I gotta walk all the way back. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Careful! Ah! What is it? A cricket jam? What? I don't. Where is it? What? Did it not count? Did it not count because I have full items? I gotta know. I gotta know. What is it? Cricket jam. Mario wiki. I gotta know what it is. Special items. Cricket jam. Give for 10 frog coins. Okay, it's not. Okay, I mean, 10 frog coins, that's not bad. Okay. At least I, uh,. Got back in the pipe this time, so at least I don't have to walk all the way across the map again. Ah, ha, ha, see you later, suckers. Ah, ha, ha. Okay. So it's kind of hoping to be able to get through here in one episode but yeah that took a very long time and unless I cut out like an hour of footage well it's only been 40 minutes but I'm gonna have to cut out like 20 minutes as it is so I'm gonna end this episode here thank you so much for watching uh, don't forget to tune in next time, where hopefully I will make some more progress than I did this time. I won't get sent back, I won't get sent halfway back through the game next time, hopefully. Um, so, oh, wait, special items, right? Yeah, there's a cricket jam. Okay, so, uh, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next time. Until then, goodbye.